hi guys happy new month today is the first of march time flies it just feels like we just started this month but you know what bring it on 2021 i know this year has been a year of struggles we all have faced a lot of setback but you know as i was praying today i had so much in my head i feel so light right now because it's just having that army of prayers there's so many people who reach out with prayers in our struggles and everything and as i was praying one thing just told me that you know just tell the enemy bring it on like i'm ready bring it on because you know what we've gone through enough and with this COVID, especially what we've gone through a lot last year a lot of us has lost so much i'm telling you our losses especially i speak for myself i'm not gonna talk on behalf of anybody I've gone through a lot in this last 2020 to 2021, you know, going through COVID twice, having to lose so many family, so many mem family members to COVID and having to deal with the first death anniversary of my grandmother and being stuck here and not being able to be home because for us in our culture, we have certain things we do are supposed to do a stone for my grandmother. A lot of things that's just been reshuffled because of this COVID and, you know, just not being around my family after for a long time. Our families, we love having gatherings and not being able to have those, but we've been having a lot of those virtually, so we're still in contact with my family. But you know what? With all of that and thinking, you know, God, what is the purpose of all these Never doubt that God has, a, has no specific purpose for you. God has something specific just for you. Even though it feels, no, it doesn't even feel like it. God has something specifically just for you. Don't doubt that. Don't doubt that. And whenever you feel like that, look at the face of the enemy and tell him you're dealing with the wrong one. And the, the enemy needs to know it. You need to say it out loud. That way they won't come running out to you. And for those who are really, really facing a lot of difficulties in this season of Lent, Lord is just giving you part of his suffering. That is such a gift in itself. I was wondering why, personally, I was just wondering why I'm going through all of this. And most of the things doesn't make sense. And when I was doing the Station of the Cross today, I was just like feeling like I, I, I really felt homesick. And I was doing the Station of the Cross in my language in Shona. And as I was praying, because, you know, like, I, of course, I do feel it deeply in English, but in Shona, like the words in Shona, they sounds a little bit piercing. Like, I don't know, every word in that Station of the Cross, it's, it digs deep. And as I was going through that intensely, I just feel like the Lord has, was just inviting me to be part of his pain in this season. And then when I was praying, I also had a spiritual sister who saw, who said the same thing to me, that God is asking you to partake in his pain. And then she just sent me a scripture just to make sure that I stay strong in this. And I remember that God has just been here all along. And she sent me Jeremiah 119, they will fight you, but they will fail. For I am with you and I will take care of you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Jeremiah 1, 19 is for you. If you're facing anything, the enemy will fight you, but they will fail. For I am with you. When God says something, he will never leave you. He will never leave you. He will fight with you because this battle we're going through is belongs to the Lord. You need to give it back to the one who belongs to. And let us just be patient in the waiting. Let us be patient and keep on being prayerful because God will show up in a big way. God will just show up in our struggles. So let us just keep on praying. Let us keep on. Let's take this battle in faith. Let's take this battle to God in prayer. When you begin to fill your mind with the word of God, especially when you start reading the word of God and they begin to fill your own mind with the word of God, the promises of God and the presence of God will be filled with you. They're like, you'll just be filled with the presence of God and you'll just be filled with these promises of God and you'll find joy in all of this and joy will be the result you'll get out of this of just keep on holding on to the Lord. So like I said, if anything happened and if, if the enemy keeps on pressing in, remember, remind the enemy that not today you got the wrong one. And if you won this battle, it is on. It is on because I am the child of my father.